hey guys i hope you're having a wonderful day so i'm going to split this video into two sections the very first section is going to be the topical products that means the lotions the creams the serums anything that i am applying on my body is a topical product and then we are gonna go into the supplements so before when i go any further i don't have a single trace of makeup on my skin like what you see is what you get like what you're seeing right now is how my skin is based off on the current routine which i have been on for the past two months so let's get into the video so the very first uh product that i have here is the turn of face cream so we're going to discuss the face product and then we move on into the body product so for the face during the day I have been using and loving the turn up face cream again this is a routine which I have been on for the past two months so this is what I've been on loving it and one of the main uh, good things about this face cream is that not only does it lighten your skin but it also gives your skin a beautiful healthy glow go and check the reviews on chicsglow.com and also check the chicks glow instagram page to see the reviews of people who have used it and they have had amazing results so it's a very strong and very powerful face cream if used accordingly very good loving it so this is what i'm using on my face during the day now as you know when it comes to skin lightening, you do have to follow up your routine with a sunscreen. It's so important. If you're not using sunscreen, then you're doing nothing. You're basically moving backwards. You're moving one step forward and then you're moving one step backwards. So sunscreen is a key part of the skin lightening routine. And I get so many questions, people asking me, what sunscreen do you recommend? What sunscreen are you using? So we're gonna get into it so for me okay for me because I'm <laughs> I make content I do have a wide array of sunscreens and I do have a video which is gonna be coming up on sunscreens I have a detailed video on the sunscreens that I recommend for the face and the ones I recommend for the body but the rule of thumb is any sunscreen which is SPF 50 and above is going to be just perfect. Just go and pick any sunscreen that you love. But if you're asking me for my recommendation, let me tell you guys what I use. So, like I said, I have many sunscreens, but let's just go through the ones I love very much. The first one is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen right here so like i've said sunscreen is a must so this one is an spf 40 sunscreen and it's more of like a gel silicone kind of sunscreen if you have used it before you know you know and this you can get from sephora you can get it from spagoop.com and it's a very nice sunscreen because it doesn't give you any white cast this is a very very good black skin friendly sunscreen it won't make you ashy very very nice now on the other hand, we also have the Spark Group Matte Screen. This one right here. Now this is a mineral sunscreen. For the girls who don't love, um, those girls who don't love chemical sunscreens, we have this one. Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this one is slightly ashy and I only use this one whenever I'm wearing my makeup because like I'm saying it's slightly ashy but when I use it when I'm wearing my makeup there's no issue because my makeup is brown so it's gonna cover up the ashiness so it's all good so on the days I'm wearing makeup I go with this one on the days I'm not I go with that with this other one now another good brand is La Roche Posay this one right here this uh okay guys everything i'm gonna be showing you i'm going to put a link i'm going to put links in the description box of each and every item that i'm discussing in this video so don't uh before you come and ask me uh anything just check the links are down there everything i'm talking about i promise there's gonna be a link for each and every product in the description box so the La Roche Posay uh, sunscreen. So with all the chemical sunscreens, you have to make sure you shake them up. There's that thing they put inside there. So even when you're shaking, you can feel, you can hear the 
liquid is mixing up so you do have to like shake them up real good then you apply so this is also a very good alternative again on the days when i'm not wearing any makeup and i just want something which is not ashy again the la roche posay is very very good let me see uh the last one i have here which again i apply when i'm doing my makeup is a paula's choice spf that i know it's, it's uh it has a lot, of, a lot of makeup on it it's covered up with makeup that means i've been using it so we have the Fuller's choice smoothing uh primer serum now this is meant to be a primer when you're applying your makeup but it also works just the same way like the spa goop and sin sunscreen only difference is that one is uh this one is spf 30 and the spa goop one is spf 40 but in terms of like application and the texture and all that they are pretty much the same kind of thing and in any case for me I don't spend a lot of time out, outside outdoors so for me it works just fine so those are the sunscreens which I use again it depends on the situation if I'm wearing makeup if I'm not wearing makeup so it depends and then again some foundations work better with some sunscreens some foundations don't work with some sunscreens so you just have to figure out like what works for you but those are the ones that I recommend so oh, so now I'm going to move on into what I am using at night time again still on my face so at night time I'm using the Shades Glow night face cream from the sunset collection this is a very very wonderful face cream because it's an anti-aging face cream and it has retinol in it we all know retinol is that beautiful beautiful ingredient in the skin in uh in, in, in your products a very very wonderful ingredient for anti-aging because remember the goal is not only to have light skin i keep on saying this it's not only about getting your skin light but also making your skin healthy we also want those anti-aging benefits we also want your skin to have that elasticity like firmness you also want your skin to look good so this does its magic at night so a very very good face cream for applying at night that is what i'm using at night so whenever you're using these kind of things guys you see i'm using an acid based uh, face cream then i'm using a retinol based face cream at night so whenever you're using these kind of things guys and in any skin lightening product that you're using you must guys m u s t you must follow it up with sunscreen because if i was using these things without sunscreen my skin would be damaged it would basically be damaging my skin even further than it is like it would be like really uh speed up the aging process the sun is your enemy okay you need to protect your skin from the sun so now let's move on into the lips the lips are still a part of the face right we still have the lips so for the lips i like to scrub my lips currently what i've been using again guys for the past two months is the jeffree star vela lip scrubs right here now i only have this one for only one reason and that is because they were on sale like i'm saying i'm a girl who loves makeup so i do buy uh stuff from jeffree star his makeup so they're on sale and i picked them up they're very good lip scrubs there's nothing like really special about them there's no skin lightening benefits they give you but they are very good scrubs in terms of like uh giving your lips a nice beautiful soft feel so i do scrub with this then i do go in with this one this is the volume 2 cheeks glow lip lightening cream a very very strong and very effective lip lightening cream i'll put up the reviews on the screen to show you guys the before and after photos of people who are using this one who have used this one and guys their results are amazing it's a very effective and a very strong lip lightening cream but you have to go in with that scrub you have to exfoliate guys exfoliation is like it's everything <laughs> When it comes to skin lightening, exfoliation is everything. It's a must, guys. There's no shortcut to it. You must either use a chemical exfoliant or a physical exfoliant. But either way, you have to exfoliate your skin. It's so, so important. You can't skip on that step. So, use this tool to scrub. <laughs> then I use the lip lightening cream. Now, 
Uh, please do note that you have to use it as per the directions which are on the Chicks Glow website and you're gonna get good results. Now I was gonna look for the, oh hold on, I found it, the brightening lip oil right here. So this one is also very good if you have like dry lips, if your lips are getting cracked up, very good for healing up your lips. Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't use this one often. I only use it on the days when my lips are feeling dry, on the days when my lips are cracking up, on the days when I feel like my, my lips need some more moisture in them, that is when I go in and I use this particular product. So also very good for my girls who have like dry lips, you apply it on and it's very, very, very nice and very effective. Something else to note guys is that you don't have to use any brand name uh, lip scrub and you don't, you don't even have to use the Diacrista lip scrub. You can just go into the beauty shop and just purchase any lip, uh, lip scrub you want. You can just go and buy any lip scrub on Sephora, Ulta, Amazon, just go even any beauty shop and just ask for a lip scrub and just use any that you find and it's still going to work the same way. Alternatively, you can do what I normally do because I just got this one during Black Friday when they had a sale. So what I have been using over the years, like uh, what I've been using uh, for my lips, is a homemade sugar scrub, which consists of sugar, coconut oil, lemon, and uh, I, I might put in some food color if I want to, but the key ingredients are sugar, lemon, honey, and coconut oil. I mix up those real good and I use that to scrub or to exfoliate my lips. So even that can work just fine, if not even better. In fact, it works even better because lemon and honey, they do work in making your lips more lighter. So a homemade scrub is the best. But if you're like me, if you don't have the time for, for making a homemade scrub, then go ahead and buy one from the shops very very nice and very important so now let's go into the body let's go into the products which i have been using and loving for my body and right here is my baby like i love this so much guys like this guys when i tell you this was a life saver for me beginning, beginning of this year i had a very very bad skin tan i went on vacation and I was going, uh, that was last year on Christmas period, I went for a vacation, if you follow me on Instagram, you see, you know. And one of the countries that we went to was Botswana. Guys, Botswana is hot. H-O-T, hot. <laughs> it's a hot country. And we are mostly doing outdoor activities. And I don't know why, silly me, don't know why it never clicked me to buy or to, to, to carry like a long sleeved top. Because I came back, I had a very terrible sunburn. I was wearing a V-neck top, and right here where the V is, because the V was exposed, I don't know, right here where the V was, and also on my hands, they were dark, guys. Black, dark. Mostly on my chest, and I don't know why my chest was even more darker than my hands. Guys, I never thought my skin would ever, ever recover. Mostly the chest area. It was like, I, don't, I didn't say brown, I said black. Like every person who was on the trip with me noticed that I had that patch of black skin, a V, and it was a complete V because I was wearing a V neck top. It's a V part which was black. Guys, when I came back in January, after the holidays season, when I came back, I began using this one consistently. This is what I know for sure saved my skin. This is what I was using and it made my sunburn or suntan, not even a suntan, it's a burn. It made my sunburn go away. This is what like really saved my skin. Honestly, I never thought my skin would ever be even toned ever again. Because that burn was like so bad, at some point my skin was peeling. The part, the part where I got burned, at some point it began peeling. Like guys, I was worried for my skin. So <laughs> this is what saved me and it's another girl on she's Glow's instagram page if you go and check the reviews you see someone else who used the same thing who used the she's Glow pro collection pro collection body cream 
and they also used it to get rid of their suntan and it worked so well so that is it with this one so uh during the day i used this one then during the night time i used the cheese glow sunset body lotion this one right here now this one again just like the face cream has retinol has vitamin a has all those yummy ingredients for your skin which are anti-aging to maintain your skin's firmness and elasticity this works in so well in doing so very nice very effective very good so these two they work hand in hand together so using this one during the day then using this one at night time guys these two chef's keys very very nice effective products now i don't use this one every night i use it on alternate nights which means that if tonight i use this one tomorrow night i won't use it so for tomorrow night if i'm not using this one i use this one at night i hope it's clear so at night whenever i'm using this one if i have to use this one on the days when i'm not using this one i pair this one up with <laughs> hold on i fill this one up with the cheese glow lightening body butter right here this is a very very nice body butter combined with this one it makes your skin have that like it does increase your moisture levels in your skin your skin looks more healthy more glowy more dewy if you combine these two so the way to combine them is i take this one i pump out a bit of it i take this one the lightening the lightening body butter i scoop out a bit of it apply it on the same palm rub them together then i apply on my skin and guys that is the best way when it comes to like combining skin lightening products if you have like a serum and you have a lotion instead of mix, mixing them in one bowl together the best thing is to apply them like that like you just apply them on your hands you wrap them in then you apply them alternatively the best way is to layer them if you have like a skin lightening serum you apply it first on your skin and then you go in with your lotion alternatively you do my, my, my method which means like you mix them on your hands not in a container that doesn't work too well for most products so this is what i use both at night and whenever i'm using these ones guys whenever i'm using the pro collection body cream along with the sheets glow lightening body butter whenever i'm using those two together i always wear a sauna suit again the sauna suit i think is also something else which like really helped me in getting rid of my tan now guys I have bought so many sauna suits from Amazon which have disappointed me. Okay? I buy them, they rip. They, 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 mostly at, at, the, at the middle section, they rip off. They, they just get torn apart. So, I'm going to be putting down a link of the ones which I recommend. I'm going to put a link of the one uh, sauna suit which I recommend because, guys, I have spent and wasted so much money trying to find the perfect and also comfortable sauna suit because some sauna suits are not comfortable you wear them and you feel itchy you feel scratchy so if you're looking for a sauna suit which is comfortable good material which is not which is not like, like tear off easily i will put a link down below so these two if you use them and then you apply and then you uh <laughs> use them and then you uh wear your sauna suit at night you go to bed wake up the next day you're gonna see an instant change to your skin not like a big change but you're gonna see that your skin has a nice glow to it and that's that's just the beginning of the journey if you continue with them your skin gets even more lighter very very nice products paired up together now for exfoliation i use the sheets glow dead skin salt this right here this salt scrub is so good for exfoliating your body and this is only for the body only from the neck downwards very good it makes your skin have this silky soft 
feel which i can't even describe it just makes your skin feel like so nice and soft and very well exfoliated because remember i'm using this one along with this one because this one does not have any acids in it so you do have to go in with an exfoliant and my exfoliant of choice for the past two months i've been honestly using the scrub and loving it so much so still on the body we have the hands so for my knuckles i am using the knuckles serum from chic glow again everything's gonna be linked down below this works so well for the knuckles now i'm gonna be honest with you guys i have not been consistent with it and if i was if i was consistent by now my knuckles would be gone but if you guys go and check my older videos if you go and check my old videos you see how dark my knuckles were and even my skin just go and check my old videos and see mostly my knuckles my knuckles were so dark and i was struggling i was trying to look for everything until i came across this knuckle serum very very nice very effective for your knuckles so what i do is i do scrub my knuckles with this i do scoop out a bit of this and apply it on one hand then i do fold my knuckles very important fold my knuckles like this because you have the lower knuckles and the upper knuckles then i do go in of course with my hand like this i do go in and i do scrub like this in the, in the lower ones the upper ones and i do the same on this other hand as well and my knuckles are nicely exfoliated then i do go in with a knuckles serum so guys you can imagine if i have not been consistent with using this one and so far i'm getting these results you can imagine what would happen if I was consistent? Now it's because I do a lot of work using my hands. So at times I will forget to apply it. But I would like to be more consistent with it. And completely get rid of my knuckles. It really does work. It's a very very good knuckles lightening serum. Very very effective for that. So that is the body products. I believe I have covered all my body products which I'm using right now. Like I said, guys, I always rotate products. So this, this is what I've been using for the past two months. Okay? So now I'm going like, to go into a new routine. But I was like, before I come uh, back on YouTube and make more videos, and I know my skin lightening routine is going to be one of the videos which is highly requested and people are going to be asking me what I'm using. I was like, let me just, let me just first of all make a skin lightening routine video. Then later on, I'm going to make more videos on skin lightening. I've learned a lot. Those two years I've been away from, from YouTube, guys. I have learned a lot and I'm going to be spilling all the tea. Everything I know, you guys know I keep it real. And you guys know I share all the info I know. Anything I know, you're going to know. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you get to know everything. So that is it with the body products. Let's quickly go into the sunscreens that I am using on my body. So anyway, first off, I have the Polar's Choice right here. This is the Polar's Choice non-greasy sunscreen, which is SPF 50, a very, very good non-greasy sunscreen. Then we have the Spa Goop Play Every Day sunscreen again, again a very good sunscreen which is spf 50 yeah these are the only ones that i have they are more like on the dry side but there are times when i do want a glow to my skin from the sunscreens <laughs> the times when i want a glow to my skin that is when now i go in with this one this is a, the roche posay sunscreen which is spf 50 this is a spray sunscreen so just shake it up and then you spray on your hands rub them together and then you apply on your skin very good if you want like that dewy you know that dewy glowy look that dewy slightly oily kind of like look to your skin this does that another sunscreen which is like nice and dewy and actually i think it's more more dewy than that one is the permanence skincare uh permanence yeah permanence, <laughs> permanence uh line uh, sunscreen right here the permanence sunscreen does give you that nice glowy dewy look and to be honest guys there are times when I would wear uh, I would apply like these sunscreens like this and this 
at night if i have like a date going on i don't know why things are falling apart <laughs> like if i have like a date going on you know, so i apply this one just to have that nice glowy look and that nice healthy look in the skin and mostly at night when the light hits my skin like it just has this nice beautiful beautiful glowy dewy look so at times when i'm wearing something and my skin is showing the legs the hands i apply it just have that nice glowy dewy look of course sunscreen is meant for using during the day but i just apply at night just for that extra glowy dewy look i'm looking for a lotion that has like that kind of like dewy consistency because i do like that look at times so again i have another sunscreen here which is a spa group glow oil i didn't even know there's a sunscreen oil until last year so when i discovered that we do have sunscreen oils again i have a video coming up on sunscreen guys i'm i'm gonna talk about about that at that time so it's a spa group glow oil which is spf 50. so this again on the date when i want to just to have like uh and it's a spray kind of thing you just spray it on your skin so on the days when i do want to have that glowy dewy look and a little bit of greasy look a little bit of an oily look to my skin i apply this one after applying the polar's choice sunscreen so i go in with polar's choice then i go in with this one it just gives a nice beautiful glowy look to the skin so that is it with the body sunscreen and then lastly again like i'm talking about the glow guys i do like glowing skin mostly when it's like sunny outside and my skin is showing i do like to wear these on the days when the sun is not too hot i do like a glowy dewy look so over here i have another one which is a super group glow stick now this is just a, a kind of like a deodorant it looks like a deodorant stick kind of thing but it is a sunscreen stick and it is also spf 50 so this one i just like to get it and just roll it up and apply it on the high point of my skin like the uh shoulders the chest area a little bit on the hands just to highlight the skin and give it that dewy look so if you like that that is those are the sunscreens which i personally use so now let's talk about the supplement what i have been using as skin lightening supplement of course i do have a whole video discussing supplements but we're going to be discussing what i've been using for the past two months because we have all kinds of supplements and they come in a different uh, varieties in different like liquid powders you know what i mean injections so i'm going to be discussing exactly what i've been using for the past two months as my skin lightening supplements so over here in this big glass jar i have a mixture of skin lightening powders i know it sounds like crazy because i've never like made a video talking about this but this works so well so what i do is i buy the powders as they are and i'm gonna put down a brand you can buy from below like pure bulk and bulk supplements and there's another one i'm forgetting which makes like very good a uh, high quality powdered version of the supplements so what i do is i get what is inside here is vitamin c glutathione and collagen and i mix them up in the right portions if you want me to make a video on this let me know and i'll show you guys how i mix it up in the portions and all that but basically what i do is i get glutathione vitamin c and collagen in one big bowl then i combine them real good when i say real good i mean like real good i mix them up very nicely and then i put them in this jar then of course i do my calculations and i know exactly what amount to take every single day and i do that for a whole one month like if i make it i make like a one month batch you don't make it to like two months or three months back because they tend to get rancid and sticky and all that very fast so you want to make a fresh batch like every single month or every two weeks if you can now there's some other, there's some other powdered uh, supplements 
which are also good as skin tightening and I'm gonna put a list on the screen because there are several of them I'm gonna put a list on the screen now even those ones there are times when I do mix them up on their own in another container and I do take them but for now for the past two months I haven't been taking those ones I've just been using this right here on its own so again if you mix in too many powders because like i'm saying there are many skin lightening supplements which come in powder form if you mix too many of them in one container they do tend to get lumpy clumpy sticky they did they tend to change up their texture so as i'm saying avoid mixing too many powders into one container so anyway i have my Supplements right here, my glutathione, my vitamin C, and my collagen all mixed up. I scoop it up and then I take it every um, morning and evening with water. I just, mix, I just mix into the water. If I have the time, if I can, I use the sublingual method, which means like placing this powder under your tongue. You hold it there for some time, then you flush it down with water. So that's that so let's talk about the other supplements guys when it comes to skin lightening supplements you have to think of two things so skin lightening supplements what you're looking for you're looking for two things you're looking for the antioxidants and you're also looking for skin building supplements so these ones are antioxidants the vitamin c and the glutathione but the collagen in here is skin building because again, like I keep on saying, the whole goal is not only to have light skin, but you also want to have healthy skin. You also want your skin to have that elasticity, that firmness. You also want those qualities in your skin. So anyway, moving on, talking about skin building supplements, where is it? Here it is. <laughs> we have vitamin A, very good. And guys, this is a very cheap, very affordable, but very effective supplement. If you're not gonna take anything from this video, at least take the vitamin A. It's very, very effective. Cause this one is like a uh, hundred soft gels and you take one a day. So basically this container right, right here, it is about like $10. I'm gonna check on Amazon and put the link and show you guys. It is about like $10 and use it for a hundred days. Those are like three months, honestly. It's very effective if you use it every single day guys this like makes a big 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 difference to your skin in terms of like building up your skin because it's vitamin A it's just basically like retinol but now in a capsule format very nice for your skin then uh, let me see what else we go to then on skin lightening we have the alpha lipoic acid again this is also very good not as strong as glutathione in terms of in terms of being like an, an uh, antioxidant it's not as strong as gluta but it also does play its own role in terms of lightening up your skin and then okay one thing right here okay let me just go to okay vitamin d vitamin d serves serves the same function as vitamin a in a way it does help to also work on your skin in terms of being like having like healthy skin glowing skin but it doesn't like lighten up your skin but just works on the structure of your skin it's also very good and for a person like me who like i'm saying i'm rarely ever outdoors when it's like very very hot you never see me outside when it's like very very hot unless i have to and if i have to i'm wearing a long sleeve top so anyway because i don't go out in the sun a lot vitamin d does help maintain healthy glowing skin so there's that then something else i discovered last year and i wasn't even making videos last year i should have i should have uh what i discovered last year was chlorophyll so chlorophyll comes in different forms we have the liquid version and we have the capsules right here so it just depends on what your preference is so the liquid one i can think i think you can only get this on amazon i'm going to put the link down below so it's just basically um a dropper kind of thing you just have like this thing mine is sealed up because i'm currently using this one not this one so i'm gonna discuss it in a short while so just open it up and it's a green substance 
it's a green liquid which you just put into your water you put it in your water then you drink it up and it does help to cleanse up your system now for me personally being very honest chlorophyll i uh, i use it mostly because of the deodorant properties it does something to your body it cleans up your body it's kind of like using soap on your body on the inside it does clean up your body on the inside to the point where like even if you go to the gym and you sweat your sweat is not gonna smell like sweat so this is this one falls in the antioxidant category so it does help in cleaning up your system so that when you go ahead and you use glutathione it makes it easier for the gluta to work on your skin if you use something else to also clean up your system so they start then they have the liquid one now to be honest guys i do actually have to be honest i do feel like i get better results in my skin in terms of like uh, my skin becoming brighter when i'm using the liquid version compared to the capsules but I don't, I don't like the taste of the liquid version which you can see this one is still an open it's still a brand new packaging from amazon i don't like the taste of the liquid one per se and the capsules still serve the same function mostly for me it's the deodorant properties i'm looking at so for me i use the capsules but if you're looking to use it for your skin i highly recommend the liquid one just bear with the taste it's not so bad but just bear with the taste the liquid version works better when it comes to the skin uh, brightening benefits the liquid chlorophyll right here works way much better so anyway guys i'm gonna leave those two down below so let's go into something else which i'm just gonna touch on briefly because i've talked about it before i have a whole video on this this is msm right here msm is just a crystal powder right there you can see mine is almost full but i went through a whole tub let me show you guys hope it doesn't go out i went through this whole container because it's empty right so i went through a whole tub of it i got mine from amazon i'm going to link it down below went through a whole one now i'm on a brand new one right here so amazon is very good for skin whitening. i have a whole video on it so i'm not gonna go deep into it just go and check a very very powerful skin lightening supplement actually if i'm if i'm going to like to rank them if i had to like to rank them i would say gluta down is number one then we have uh, then we have uh, msm then we have vitamin c i think i would organize them in that order glutathione msm and vitamin c but if you are on a tight budget okay if you are on a tight budget just go and take glutathione vitamin c and collagen just those three if you are on a budget and those will still work very well for your skin and then i have lastly i think it's the last one yeah and you can see guys i really recommend this brand called now I am not sponsored by them, but they really do make very, very good supplements. If you're looking for like high quality supplements without a question, without a doubt, now, this brand called Now, they make like very, very good supplements. So before you go and check other brands, check for them first. They're very, very good. So the last one I have is Astax, I can't pronounce this word, guys. Astax something, Astax something. <laughs> I'm going to put it on the screen to show you guys what it is. As a something. As a something. Okay. Anyway, this one right here. This is very good for protecting your skin from the UV damage of the sun. I didn't even know there's a supplement that can do that until I did more research on it and I realized it actually does that. So to protect your skin from the UV damage coming from the sun. So this does a good job at that now of course guys there are other supplements which i use which are not necessarily skin lightening supplements these which are meant for my immunity things like zinc picolinate things like probiotics things like uh biotin for my hair so those are things which i use which are not like for skin lightening but for my own personal use and i have a pill organizer right here this pill organizer is from amazon and it just tore up all your supplements 
the capsule ones I do store them up in here to keep track of them and it has the days of the week right there from Monday to Sunday very nice I'm going to link it down below and that guys concludes this whew, I'm hoping it's not a very long video but that concludes this whole video because I do have a uh, videos I have videos let me just say I have videos coming up and I do want to try my best to be as consistent as I can I'm not going to make any promises but I'm going to try my best to be consistent to, but I do have for sure you know for sure I have already filmed videos on uh, skin lightening which are going to be coming out soon so make sure you subscribe and be on the lookout on those videos you guys know I always share my knowledge and I have learned so much that one or two years I have been away from the YouTube from the tube those two years or one this one or two years that period of time I have learned a lot guys I have learned a lot so I have a lot of things to share a lot of gems to share on this topic the mistakes and lessons and a lot of things to have learned guys and I'm gonna be sharing all that with you so make sure you subscribe to make sure you don't miss a single video which I upload and yeah that's it guys and don't you not make this video longer than it is and until next time see ya